Hey YouTube, my name is Nick, and in today's video, I just want to make a quick follow-up video to my last video that I posted on my channel, and someone rightfully pointed out in the comments that I didn't actually show the Crystal Xbox working, so I'm going to do just that, but there was also one other thing that I forgot to mention uh, when I made my last video, in terms of converting uh, the PAL region Xbox to a North American unit. Not only did I have to replace the power supply that is now inside this console, it's now a North American one, instead of a PAL region one, because of the voltage ratings on the PAL region one can't be used in North America without a step-down converter. So not only did I have to swap the power supplies, I also had to do one other thing on the console in terms of its EEPROM in order to um, use progressive scan output on the original Xbox. Because um, for some reason, uh, despite all the hardware being in the original Xbox, in the PAL region, Microsoft restricted its users to only be allowed to play all their games in 480 interlaced, or I think it's 576i as well in some cases, but it's honestly so much better to be able to play with uh, progressive scan play, so 40p, uh, 720p even, and uh, up to 1080i. I'm pretty sure even in PAL region, you don't get up to 1080i resolution, even if you wanted. But playing original Xbox games in 720p on the original hardware using uh, component cables is amazing. I actually have um, custom, like, modified uh, Xbox 360 component cables. Uh, it basically is just, you chop the end of um, the cables off of an uh, AV cable, and you just have to rewire the Xbox 360 uh, component cables to the AV cable part of the Microsoft uh, cable, like for the original Xbox. So, um, yeah, you don't get progressive scan uh, play on an original Xbox from the PAL region unless if you run an application known as Enigma Video Mode Switcher. And uh, when you launch this app, uh, pressing the A button in Unleash X or something of the sort, it will look like this. And you'll see that I already changed my video region so that I could take advantage of uh, progressive scan play. But basically, all you have to do is when this screen comes up, you press A to set your PAL region settings to the PAL EEPROM, and it basically restricts you to playing only in interlaced mode, or you can press B to unlock the full uh, resolutions possible on the original Xbox. So I'm just gonna back out of this software, uh, and you do it by pressing left trigger, right trigger, uh, back, and black, the black uh, circle. Uh, you press those all together at once, and then it goes back out. I need two hands to do it, so I'm just going to put my phone down. But you just do all of that, and it will reload the dashboard. The reason why I ejected the disk drive on boot up is because um, this Samsung disk drive, although it reads disks, it's kind of a pain to open without a disk in it. Uh, and the reason for that is because the rubber band that uh, wraps around the gears that uh, move the disk drive in and out basically has worn out over 20 years and dried up and whatever. So um, that's why you get some problems like that. And if I replace that, it would probably just open every time. But um, I just haven't gone around to doing that. So I found that as long as I keep a disc in the disc drive, it, it works no problem. So I just want to show you as well when I go to the uh, dashboard that I am running in progressive scan mode. And I can show you the difference between interlaced and progressive scan just on the Xbox dashboard, just by doing a certain button combination. So. Just want to show that it's here. So if you go to settings and you go to video, you'll see that I have all these options enabled, like as if it were a North American unit. And so if I do left trigger, right trigger, and press in both thumbsticks, which again, I need two hands for, it will flash the screen on and off and it will change the resolution of the dashboard. I believe right now it's an in interlaced mode. That's why it kind of looks a little blurry, but I'm not 100% sure because it just flashes quickly. Uh, just from what I can tell, it probably looks sharp on video, but like it's a little bit blurry around the edging, uh, like the edges of the of the different settings and stuff. So when I do that again, yeah, it makes it significantly sharper. It's now in progressive scan mode. Yeah, it might be hard to tell, but anyway, so when I put this disc in, uh, it goes to show that the, um, the Xbox can read discs as well. So this unit is fully functional now. 
I already have it connected to Insignia and stuff, I just don't have my Ethernet cable plugged in right now. But you'll see that Midtown Madness 3 works, no problem. I'm just going to quickly load up into this cruise mode. It's basically just like free roam on this uh, Paris map. I have one hand, so it's going to be kind of hard to control this. I have my pinky on the right trigger and my thumb on the left stick to move the car. Welcome! Now go see what you can do! Like I said, really hard to control with one hand, but... Anyhow, you get the idea. So, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.